As many of you know, the Mariners had three first round draft picks in the MLB draft that just happened on Sunday. Here's how it went. I love the three picks that the Mariners made, but there's something I love even more about the draft. Stick around to the end of the video to find out what that was. The first pick for the Mariners at number 22 was Colt Emerson, a shortstop. Looks like he could profile out to be a third baseman later on if he develops in certain ways. He swings left and throws right. He stands at 6'1", 195, but he's only 17. He is a high schooler from Ohio. Looking at his scouting grades here, he's got 60 hit, 50 power, 50 run, 55 arm, a 50 field and a 50 overall taking a look at you know previous draft picks you know whole young last year the 55 overall so just a tick below him at 22 here another infielder like i said could profile out to be a third baseman later on a lot to like about emerson here i love seeing in his showcase video that he's able to spray the ball all over the field he pulls the ball but he also pushes the ball the other way hitting gaps at what it looks like would be gaps it's batting practice but it shows good bat to ball skills and it's a pretty left-handed swing you're gonna see a trend here with the mariners and some lefty batters he is committed to auburn as it stands right now since he was a high schooler however that doesn't necessarily mean he's gonna go to auburn cole young was committed to duke and he ended up sticking with the mariners farm though well, hopefully we see Colt Emerson commit to the Mariners organization. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the All-Star Week festivities so far, but you could be enjoying them even more by going to Simply Seattle and stocking up on some Mariners gear. It's 20% off all All-Star Week. So make sure to head over to simplyseattle.com and place your orders now and gear up for the rest of the season. At pick 29, the Mariners went with an outfielder, another left-handed guy. He throws right, name Johnny Farmello. Out of Virginia, he is also committed to Virginia. Armello is grading out to be a great defensive outfielder with a lot of speed and good upside with the bat as well. I mentioned he's left-handed. He's got a great lefty swing. He's got 50 hit, 50 power, 60 run, which plays a big part there in the outfield, 50 arm, and 50 fielding with an overall of 50, same as Colt Emerson. Taking a look at, you know, just his build and his profile, it looks great at the plate. Just looks like, looks like a good ball player, you know what I mean? He is only 18, a high schooler as well. He's 6'2", 205, he could definitely fill out and maybe grow into a bit more power if he wanted to, or even just become a freak athlete and stick out there in center field somehow, some way. He was playing shortstop in the past, but he was playing the entirety of the summer in the outfield. You kind of look at his throwing here. It does look like he sometimes short arms it. So I don't know if that's just like the infield throws or just, you know, his mechanics, but it looks like he's got a pretty strong arm. He can grow into it even more. Overall, really like this pick. Another lefty bat. There's a lot of upside here with Farmelo here at 29. With the 30th pick, the Mariners went with another infielder, but this one's got a bit of a caveat to it. Hi Pete, out of Georgia, is committed to Georgia Tech just like Harry Ford was. Used to be a pitcher as well. Something that was very interesting profile is that he was doing a pro showcase in August where he just walked off the mound with an apparent elbow injury that really hasn't been identified right now. So. Taking a look at that, he's probably not going to be a pitcher as it stands right now. He's another lefty. He's 6'2", 193 at the age of 17. He will be turning 18 in August. Dude is going to continue to grow into that frame, and he's got a lot of power and a lot to like already. His grades right now are 45 hit, 55 power, 60 run, 60 arm, and 55 fielding for an overall of 50. Ty Pete just looks like an athlete, just an overall dude. One thing that they're saying about him is that if he should shift off of shortstop, he would fit the offensive profile at third base, but he could also be a defensive profile in center field. He's an athlete. He can play multiple positions, but also if you need him to move around or, you know, grow into a certain spot, he'll probably be able to because he seems pretty malleable. He seems like a guy that will just kind of figure it out naturally at that position because he is so naturally gifted. Hi, Pete. Like I said, lefty, throws right. Got a beautiful swing. One thing I'm not overly sold on is the hit being 45 and the power being 55. He could learn to control the zone in the Mariners farm system, but there's a lot to like with these grades and getting three guys with 50 grade overall in the first round. All high schoolers, by the way, so they're super young. If they all decide to come to the Mariners organization, there's going to be a lot of time for them to grow and develop within the organization. They're not going to be, you know, called up in two or three years. This is, these are guys that are, you know, four or five years down the line where they're going to be, you know, mature athletes. And then that's when they'll really get to shine. But the thing that I loved most about the draft was how all the Mariners fans were booing Rob Manfred and specifically the Houston Astros. With the 28th pick of the 2023 MLB draft, the Houston Astros 
Manfred couldn't even get a word in over the boos raining in over the Astros and over himself. Thank you guys for watching this draft recap of the first round for the Seattle Mariners. And as always, go Mariners.